Hi guys, this is JD from Fey Fantasy RPG. Uh, I am uh, basically publishing this first video that I actually filmed a while ago, and it's about uh, using Google Earth uh, as my map tool for uh, the Forgotten Realms. So I hope you enjoy the video, and uh, please feel free to go and look at uh, FeyFantasyRPG.com. That's F-A-E-F-A-N-T-A-S-Y. Dot com. Thanks. Google Earth. This is the uh, uh, Google Earth version that I built of the Forgotten Realms from 4th edition. I have all of the information from the campaign guide and the player's guide for Forgotten Realms. If you click on the left side, any one of these regions or cities will take you to a specific view for that region or city including specific places in that region and it will include the text from those books. It was fun doing this. I spent many years actually doing this when I didn't have a job I had to be at every day. Uh, but now I think it's valuable and I think people should uh, be knowing about it. Uh, especially because 5th edition is going to include the same world 10 years later. So hopefully this can be a of uh, helpful to people. Basically you can see the maps themselves are the maps that were published but I have done some enhancements like you can see Aglaron is exactly the same shape and size but I've actually enhanced the, the uh, actual imagery by doing Photoshop over top of it. That was the region that I was using so I wanted to do a slightly better version of the map. So you can actually choose to paste the map onto the world. Uh, in, fa in this case I chose to paste Faerun into the Indian Ocean and basically once you do that you can use Google Earth to just search it as if you were in actually Forgotten Realms. You can even fly using the uh, flight simulator but it's a little odd. There are controls that allow you to zoom up and down there are controls that allow you to control the actual horizon level and if you sort of click and drag you will continue going that direction which is kind of helpful. Useful if you're trying to just sort of show the relationship from one location to another location and you can even do that pretty effectively from like clicking on Omn what it was just now is that I clicked on Omn, and Omn has a lot of text, and it was actually loading all of that text from the books into the map, which took a lot longer than I expected. So you just have to be a little careful when you click on a place that has a lot of text. Um, if you click on the actual name of the place, it'll open the text in a box. If you click on the text, it'll go to the place and show it to you. If you click on the icon for like the Knoll Watch Mountains, it'll just adjust your view. Gulf of Lurin. Gate of Iron Fangs. It'll just keep moving me from location to location in this region as I choose that location. And then I can fly all the way across to the Great Dale if I want to. with a really quick zoom. It's really good for not knowing for sure where a specific place is and trying to find it on the map. It's really useful for that. Um, I used it a lot for that and a lot of other things but mainly I was trying to document all the things that my campaign people would actually find, the players would find, and also put in the things that they did find and add details so that I could keep track of them. So I used this map basically as my log of what happened. Um, but it's much more useful than that. It can be used for, I mean, tons of things. It has the entire map. It allows you to look the islands. You can actually overwrite the images with new images. You can actually overwrite 
specific cities with city maps. The only one I have as a good example is uh, Valtelar. The city of Valtelar was important to my campaign, so I went ahead and made a map of it so that the people could actually see the basic structure of the city and understand when I'm explaining it to them what they're talking about, the upper city, the lower city, so forth. So there's a lot of really good, really useful things. I hope that's helpful to you and I hope that you show an interest. I would love to offer this to people so that they can use it in their own campaign. Uh, you can see I didn't show it in, in any of the other places. There's, there's roads, there's paths. I would use different colors for different regions, different colors for different kinds of paths. So it can be very, very powerful. So uh, thanks for listening and watching and uh, have a great day and um, contact me if you want more information. Thanks. So I, I hope that video was helpful to you. Uh, I will go ahead and put the links to the uh, YouTube video uh, on my blog and I'll put links to how to get Google Earth installed on your machine and how to download from my Google Drive the actual um, map that I created for Faerun Forgotten Realms. Uh, you have to do is load Google Earth onto your system and then click on the KMZ file for uh, Forgotten Realms and it opens up perfectly. It's a large file so it might take a little while, like 70 megabytes, it might take a little while to download, but enjoy and please give me feedback. Thanks. I almost forgot, of course. Uh, I am at fayfantasyrpg.com. Uh, that's going to forward you to fayfantasyrpg.wordpress.com for now. And it's fay, F-A-E, as in fairy. So uh, please uh, go online and make contact with me. Thanks.